Hello and welcome to the fourth part of Casual Potato series with iChem. I'm a dedicated Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links streamer on Twitch and today I'm going to explain the last part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links world. So we just enter the card studio. So in the card studio we find deck list, deck editor, card catalog, skill list, customization and KC report. And the deck list is just a new function which Konami added recently which I find personally very helpful especially for the new um, players you can see here just deck decks which were made by other players and uploaded into here so submit a deck list new deck list whatsoever so if you go for example we take the cyber star ua or, or ultra athletes deck which was posted here and which was recommended by other people you can see basically, okay, these are the cards you are going to need in your own deck to play that uh, to play this yeah, composition. And you can see that the gray card, which is marked out, is the card you are actually missing. So for me, it's the third midfielder card, which I'm missing. And below that card, he has written down how to obtain. So you click on how to obtain and you find out, okay, the midfielder card comes from the box of the Gaia Genesis. And you go into Gaia Genesis to buy that card but for example if you found out you don't have enough gems to um, buy that card what are you going to do or you don't have enough money and gems to buy that card you can click here below on how to obtain gems and Konomi is going to explain you if you level up your character go to dual school complete stage missions or um, watch street in place that you can get free gems for that so basically Konami is trying to introduce a lot of functions which will help out more casual potato players like we are and um, yeah, make it just more comprehensive for the non-specific professional Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links player. Yeah. So you can also copy that deck into your own deck or you can set it as a goal. Set it as a goal and then the deck is saved. Which I think is pretty see and then you can see the deck is complete by 59% because you're still missing one card and that's it receive deck list submit a deck list interesting very very interesting so and here below you can find the button to post the deck so for example if I want to post the deck or submit the deck I can just for example I want to submit my blue eyes white dragon deck here so this is my deck I'm doing right now. Uh, recommend for beginners. Yeah, just recommend for beginners. And then uh, monster card, blah, blah, blah. Selection, which deck? Monster card, spell, trap cards, balance, ritual summon, synchro summon, level four below. Um, I think it's a character deck. It's a Kaiba character deck because it has a lot of blue eyes in it. And then we just post it. Blue eyes, white dragon, it's called. Dang. And now we submitted one deck. We will find out how people will like it. Oh. Now let's go back to the deck editor. Now we go into the deck editor, which is the heart of your Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel's gameplay. So um, you can have structured decks and um, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh decks G uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh normal and then for Yu-Gi-Oh GX and 5DS but I prefer like the custom decks as I discussed before right now my favorite one is Blue Eyes White Dragon of course <laughs> which one should it else be and then you can see it here um, oh this one is still a little bit different than that one here so this is a little bit of variation of the deck which I is below my screen and um, I'm just going to explain roughly. You have monster cards and spell cards and trap cards. If you have played Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, this is pretty much self-explanatory. But if you are completely new to Yu-Gi-Oh! as a trading card game and to Duel Links, um, there is a lot of things to learn, I guess. Hmm. So just post your question below the video and I'm trying to answer them. Here, as you can see, the deck is consists this deck consists of 20 cards in my main deck and 5 cards in my extra deck. And for the extra deck, you cannot have more than 5 cards. If you try to put more cards into the extra deck, they are going to say it's full. 
5 only and the main deck is from 20 to 30 so if you have less than 20 cards it's going to warn you that you need the main deck needs between 20 and 30 cards so put it back and we are good so you can go for example here into settings and yeah like uh, order the cards after prismatic glossy basic whatsoever and then you can also create an auto deck i would not recommend that i tried everything which came out was not good <laughs> and if you go to accessories which is pretty good you can choose your accessories so which is um, your card backside for me it's a dark magician girl pretty cute and that is your playmat which will be on your side of the gameplay when we go into the next video i can show you that too um and then you can lock the deck or unlock the deck oh yeah okay when this character is set as active so basically this is a character you are going to enter your next um duel with you can lock this deck and then cannot be edited anymore see cannot be edited yes that's it and you can unlock it and then it can be edited again and as you can see here above the deck there's a skill list where you can choose from the various skills which can be acquired for your character which you are playing and there are specific um, skills which are only allowed on certain characters for example beatdown I think it's only Kaiba and Crowler who can own that and then there are other skills which can be attained by several characters for example draw sands light draw sands water if you click on this trash button you will just delete all the cards in your deck i'm not going to do that but if you are trying to put down together a new deck it's pretty helpful just to trash everything you have here and then stick it together and as you can see um, from the monsters you cannot have more than three copies of one monster or three copies of any card in your deck because the maximum stuck with 30. I know for the trading card game it's different but in the trading card game you have like a main deck out of 30 until 60 cards right so that's a different story and for dual links it's just limited to three cards each and sometimes those are limited to two as you can see here in the right corner of the enemy controller this card is limited to two which was um, a rule change which was made by Konami first recently yeah, so it's possible that, for example, you still have three cards of the Dragon Spirit White right now, but in the next season, Konami is going to limit it to two, and then you are just stuck with it. You can use the copy op uh, option as we have seen before from the deck list. And then we are back into yeah the select mode. If you go into the card catalog, you can see all the cards you actually own and the numbers of it. You can sort them by favorites, monsters, spell cards, trap cards, extra cards. You can filter them after their card type, attributes, and whatsoever. Even monster and spell uh, spell cards can be separated. So very different options to filter it. Then your cards, which you have marked, popular cards, which people use, and then search by name. Yeah. Just a lot of options to how to sort them and up here in the right corner there's a batch convert which you actually need to convert your cards to ultra rares gold and um now how to call those javels here uh, the adamant javels yeah which you need to buy other cards from the card trader which i have explained before in the last video <laughs> if we go into the skill list view character skills you can see like skills for example a trick up the sleeve is like bound to arcana so no other character can have that or access denied is bound to yugimoto this is the only skill yugimoto can have and um you just click on access denied and then it's explained so it can be used if your life points are at thousand or below until the end of the opponent's next turn either you nor the opponent can normal summon or special summon effect monsters or active effect uh, effect monsters. This still can only be used once per duel, so just one time thing. Yeah. I think the skill list is pretty helpful if you know the name of the skill or maybe you can sort by character. Newest, popular, obtained by character, obtained by more characters. Hmm. Yeah. 
But sometimes you just don't know what's going on, and it's pretty hard to find out the skill or the character you needed for that. I think I will post a link to uh, I think a Gamea page where it was done in a matrix. So on the left side you have all the characters, on the top you have all the different skills, and it's just crossed out which one are attainable. I think this is much easier to understand than this here. And now we're going to customization, which I already showed a little bit in the deck editor. But here you can see practically the whole, all the options you have, so all the game mats you own since you have unlocked them by playing the different characters, or the card lease, which you also unlock by playing different characters or events, or buy or board them with money. That is also possible. Yeah, or can you can show them in the list if you click on the show list sign. And right now I think I have set um, Dark Magician Girl, I'm pretty sure about it. We just saw it right before. Same goes here. Some are, for example, from events like KC Cup or from the Bakura event or for the Akane event and whatsoever. This one is one of my favorites from DD Tower. The Pocky Dragon is so cute. And then you can just bring them to your deck editor and change it in your accessories. Yep. Let's go back into deck editor. And then you click on accessories and can change them. To add cards in Steam, you just can right click on the card and then this will land in your main, uh, land in your main deck. Example here, or in your extra deck. I think for the mobile phone it's a little bit different, but that is pretty convenient for the Steam version. Now there was a customization. The last point is the KC report. Okay, you can see the KC report for 2018 second stage and first stage. Actually, even as a casual potato, it was for me possible to enter the qualifiers uh, for 2018, which means I've been playing a lot in 2017 and I've become a European top 500. That's why I was actually invited for the KC Cup this year without playing the first stage. But since time is hard, and time is money, I couldn't really participate as I wanted to. Mm, yeah. And you can see just this is basically just statistic analytics. So Mass Hero was there, for Haya was there, Beat for Haya, whatsoever. So the cards which have been used or the monsters which has been used mostly in those cups are popular actually and very strong. I think this is more or less not really for casual potatoes, but for these people who wanted to become very competitive and analyze what the other guys are going to play or what they have played and how to counter them. But if you are going to enter the ladder, this might also be helpful sometimes. Yeah, you can see features of disruption. So you can see which cards are mostly used. And then as a competitive player, you can think of a plan how to counter them. But as a casual potato, this might not be so interesting. Yeah. And I think that is basically everything about the card studio, which I could explain to you. Oh, there's one point for the main interface here on the card studio. You can click on this little garbage bin here. Okay, and there comes the cat outside. But sometimes, if you are lucky, you can get free gems from it. Yeah. And that was the fourth part of the Casual Potatoes, the card studio. Um, I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions concerning the card studio or deck building or whatsoever I have left out of the video, please write down the command. I will try to complete it. Thank you. See you next time.